big title match here. In my opinion, this championship could main event any show, any place, any time. Bold declaration, Byron, but given the competitors vying for the title tonight, I'd be inclined to agree. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Ah, oh, Charlotte caught by the counter. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Was dumping their opponent on top of the closed casket. She's trying, trying to create space. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Great strength being shown here. Spine first out of the casket. I don't know about you, but I think I might rather be inside. Stretch. Fighting out of it. There's no way to get out of it. Any tips for keeping yourself out of that casket when you're competing in this kind of match, Corey? Yeah, when you need to, run away. I'm not kidding. Keeping a healthy distance between you and your potential final resting place is the best thing you can do sometimes. Ah, oh, setting them up. Going to hoist them up high. All the way up and all the way down. Fall away slam. A nice kip up. Setting up for something here. First out of the edge of the casket. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. She's ready to do some serious damage courtesy of that steel chair. Thrown back in under the ropes. I don't know what they're looking for here. Selecting the shovel, and you know. Cutting her off there. Smart strategy. Oh! oh we got a close call for that superstar. How the hell did they survive? And this one might be headed ringside. Hooked up. Now look at the power. Side slam. The champ taking their share of hits now. That unfolded just as Charlotte planned, showing she's not just brawn, she's brains too. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Firm control. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. And now she's looking to go top rope. She wants to finish this. From way up. Good Lord. Taking flight. They got all of that. Just taking flight and soaring through the sky. Position now. Finds a way to get out of it, and that indecisiveness proved to be costly. Boom. Lock it in the dragon sleeper. This showing the world just how. 
much fight she's got left. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. She does so. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Delivering a series of sharp elbows. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by count out. Oh, put down face first. Rhea letting Charlotte know that playtime is over. That could have been a game changer. Ripley looking to force her opponent into submission. The prism trap is... She is determined to escape. Boom! <laughs> She's getting something from under the ring. Okay, this could be too much. A sledgehammer? Really? And Ripley gets some... deep and fire back. So take things into the ring. defense. She will fight tooth and nail to keep her title around her waist.
Guys, it doesn't get more intimidating than the Brothers of Destruction. Yeah, it's in the name, Cole. Kane and The Undertaker have been laying waste to their opponents for decades, both together and separately. Tonight should be no different. This is what they do. Destroy anyone who crosses their path. I definitely wouldn't want to be caught inside a ring with them. But across the ring is no ordinary faction. This is the Bloodline. One of, if not the most dominant groups in WWE's history. If they want something, they're taking it. Hey, Undertaker. It's going with the Dragon Sleeper. Oh. He is in serious trouble here and finds his way out. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Oh my God! A sledgehammer. This is going too far. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. And Corey, what's more important in a two out of three falls match, the physical or the mental component? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Cole, but it's actually both. There's a reason this match is one of the be-all, end-all ways of addressing a rivalry. It's designed to test every aspect of your skill set. And if that sounds tough, it's because it is. Searching for any advantage towards the title, trying to dismantle the champ's arm. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Bang! Oh! oh every successive move is... He can pin his opponent right here! Forces a break before the count of two. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. What's he open to find down there? Oh, Kane counters. Spinning heel kick. Showing the kind of skills you need to hold on to a title. Top. Oh, Shoulders are down. Kick out at one. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. The devil's favorite demon with the devil's favorite sidewalk slam. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. Thunderous clothesline. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Back suplex, oh no. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Oh, close call makes the champ nervous. He just won't give up. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. I guess he thinks... Goal! A championship level move. Cover! The defending champion scores an early fall. What a punch. Solid punch. Jimmy laying down the gauntlet for his opponent. First off the post. Slam. The champ looking out of sorts. Showing a lot of fortitude in this Extreme Rules match for sure. But not sure how much more tenable it could be. Moves outside. What's the plan here? He gets out of the way. Solo does not think they stand a... Uh-oh. Elbow to the face will stop you cold. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Clear it off the announce table. Oh, this is a guy bucket. Uh-oh. He catches Kane with a counter. He's right. Really? This 
is what it is all about. And he clearly knows that as long as he has the kendo stick, he has the power here. Just tossing that kendo stick with total disregard. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. He returns to the ring. Very effective. Oh, close line! He's taking this to the floor now. And he has free reign to the outside with no count on to worry about. The champ's ring on his shoulders down! Okay. He scores a fall. To the outside. This could get wild. Sokoa hits the spinning solo. Cover! And a quick kick out. We're going into the middle. Cover by the champ. <laughs> the tag team champions retain. destruction came up short like that straight dominance guys another team steps up and the bloodline shuts them down There's an argument to be made that defending the title is even harder than winning it, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. You've got your name in the history books. Now it's about what kind of legacy you're going to leave. And that comes down to how you respond to your challengers. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Headbutt! Oh, what impact! Ouch! That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. What a headbutt! Vicious. Oh! With the counter! <laughs> Going for it! Trying to step through! All on their belly! Legs hooked and fully sick. Trying to find a way out. Using his power to escape. Oh, this isn't pretty! A two out of three falls match can be so difficult, so what's the key to victory? An early pin attempt. The champion dodges the two count. We'll need to get a little more to put this one away. Basement drop kick. Gunther falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Perhaps Gunther needs to go back to the drawing board. Big time move coming up. Oof. Ooh. 
broken up with a fist to the face. Now's a chance for Gunther to get back into this match. Gunther fighting an opening. Jay showing his instincts. And he sends him into the corner. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Treading all over their opponent. Ooh. Ooh. And he has an answer for Jay. Boy, he stood up. Edward frozen. Can it be? Will the rain continue? And he's still in the game. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Well, let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp? It is just unbelievable. And Goop from the top. Oh, body and body. An absolute offensive blitz from Gunther. Gunther with his opponent all the way up. Driven down with the powerbomb. The champ. doing here and that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver oh counters right into the bread basket kick to the gut dragged around into a neck breaker look at this boom nice the effects of this match are showing on the champ Jey Uso is willing to pull out all the stops here whatever it takes He gets a fall there. You can see the toll this match is taken on these competitors. The pained look on their faces, the battle scars, their bodies are showing it all right now. Jay is imposing his will. A fully focused Jay Uso right here. Gunther showing he's not out of it. Gunther could be turning his fortunes around. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Deflects it right back. Brought down and just uh, twisting that oh, neck twist. Ruthless. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent. And he's enjoying every minute of it. And there's Gunther still able to mount substantial offense. You can tell... Gunther wants to finish this. A power bomb. Looks like the champ is going to retain. And the champ retains. Here's your winner. And still, Gorbo Stampede Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Gunther. Big win as he retains the championship. He just cemented his title reign with a gutsy performance.
with the title on the line, the stakes in this match really couldn't be any higher. Uh, you can tell these superstars are ready to give their all to walk out of here the champion. They might be limping out of here if this match is even half as intense as I think it might be. Oh, attacked in the midsection. A well-timed dodge. Paying it back with their own counter. Oh, ooh. Oh, a big boot. Oh, foot just stomping down. He just barely dodges. Ooh, the cutter. It appears the game might have to think of a different plan after that. Yeah, as Roman came ready to assert his dominance and is doing just that. Oh, my goodness. Setting it up. Boom! I just have to say, people don't give Roman the credit he deserves for being a brilliant strategist. He knows how to get into his opponent's heads, both inside and outside the squared circle. And I'm certain he's going to prove that again here tonight. Some intimidating mind games from Roman Reigns could make all the difference here. Here's the pump handle. Suplex! Launched. Champ's got it. Oh, God. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Oh, this. What a headbutt. Dominating shoulder tackle. Big time close. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. And the count doesn't even begin. And that was a by-the-book pin count. That officiating's almost too good. In fact, I'd say it's sus... Reigns in the corner, ready to strike! Spear! The champ will stay champ. Looking for the victory! Two count! Last show up before three. I don't believe it. How did the challenger survive that? By the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now. Reigns now realizing that he's facing an even tougher level of opponent than usual tonight. Got to hand it to our guest referee. They pulled this one right down the middle. No one can claim this wasn't a fair fight. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. And our guest official really retains the title. Here is your winner, and still global stampede wrestling world champion, Roman Reigns. And he has to be satisfied with himself defending the championship like he did. What a title defense by the champion. Now he left it all in the ring tonight with the type of performance that's defined his title reign.